question one the question says circle two items which are solid state storage media solid state media so let's go two items this is not a storage media this is optical this is cloud storage this is optical so the first one is flash memory solid state and then hard disk is magnetic printer is not a storage media so the next one is sd card please take note these two are the two solid state storage media in this question then question two a computer system consists of both hardware and software so don't forget they have told you this explain what the following types of software provide in the computer what they provide in this is the keyword in the computer system so applications so let's start i'm going to type that so that you can see it here so let me increase let me type in color red so you can see clearly so for application we have um it provides it provides the services that the that the user require requires to solve a specific specific task or problem take note of that specific task or problem or problem okay so that is correct then you can also add as another point for that you can also say that it allows okay let me put on the next line it allows the user to perform a task okay good any of these two points will be correct for the application then for system according to the instruction so you could write that it provides uh, the services that computer require to operate to operate you could also write that it controls it controls the hardware and software you could also pick you could also say it provides a link it provides a link between the user and the hardware don't forget the it's a system software you could also say it acts as a platform for other software to run so please take note of that you could say it provides um, or it acts as a platform for other software to run smoothly so take note of that so any of these will fetch you the required uh, mark allotted to it so let's go to the next question the next question is question number two b i give two examples give two examples you see that two examples of each type of software like you mentioned above so i'm going to use this two example now for example for application you could say word processing software or you call it word processor anyone you could also say spreadsheets you could say database management system you could mention applets etc and for system software that one is also easy too you could mention mention uh, compilers you could mention linkers linkers you could mention operating system that's the os etc you could mention maybe interpreters or utilities 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 etc so that one is also very simple then for question three there are two forms of data 
if you know that by now we have the analog and digital data so the question says contrast not just a uh, right um, uh, similarities just contrast so that means you are you talking about the differences so take note of the way I'm going to write this so contrast not compare so contrasting it I start I could say analog data is continuous and it has it has um, low bandwidth analog data needs to be converted before computer can understand it okay take note of that you could also say it is data that is um, represented in waveform Take note of that. Then for digital data, you could say so any of this to make up this is a formal question. So please take note of that. This is a formal question. So you could do two two to have the formal. So for let's go for digital data. For digital data, you could say that digital data is discrete. You could also say it is it is in form in form of ones and zeros or you call it binary as you could say it has high bandwidth bandwidth and then it can be processed directly by a computer without any conversion conversion take note of that so all these are very correct so you could pick two for analog and two for digital data so that makes it easier for you to do then the next question is question four let's go to question four question four is for how many marks this is for four marks so read and understand look at the mark allotted to it Computers contain a central processing unit, the CPU, which is the brain of the computer. Then describe when this action word or the verb describe is used, the role of the CPU, the role of the CPU in processing instruction to produce an output. So you need to take note of that. The role it plays, what are the basic roles of uh, the CPU? In processing instruction, the three basic roles of the CPU is that it controls, it retrieves, and it executes. So you begin to break it down. It controls. There is a part of the computer which is called the control unit that controls. There is a part of the computer that retrieves instructions, and there is the part of the computer that executes instructions given. So you are going to write the uh, answers in the line of those three basic rules of the cpu so i start so the first one you could say it controls cpu controls all operation all operations take note of that all operations you can say controls the input and output devices is the one responsible for that it also controls the movement of data within the computer within the computer so take note of that also under retrieves you could say uh it retrieves it retrieves instructions any instruction sent will be retrieved by this so it retrieves instructions given then another thing is that um, it re retrieves it re retrieves data from memory 
memory also it decodes decodes all the instructions it's the one that will decode the instruction before it passes the instruction to the required part that would you know carry it out so it decodes instructions also i talked about execution it executes execute instruction after it has retrieved the instruction it executes the instructions sent from the hardware and software it also carries out calculations don't forget we have the arithmetic and logic unit calculation carries out calculations then it also carries out comparison so that makes it possible to make logical decisions take note of that and then the register the registers the registers store the results the results from the alu that executes all the instructions given so take note of that then uh, the next question is question five this is a two mark question so look at the mark allotted to it it's very important it's going to help you to organize your points before actually writing it a doctor uses a gesture based user interface don't forget we have different user interfaces we have command line interface we have gui interface we have um gesture based user interface and we also have a voice voice based user interface so this one is gesture based user interface state two other types of user interface the keyword here is two other types two other types so we have the command line interface like i said so you could put command line interface or you simply call it cli take note we have dialog base interface and we also have a graphical user interface interface or you call it gui that is very important then any of any two year will end you two marks then the next one question number six another important question look at the mark all allotted to it this is um a two mark question a two mark question and the question is augmented reality ar can be used with a global positioning system gps device state two other uses two other uses of ar augmented reality so the other two uses is that you can use ar for gaming you can use it in um, immersive learning you can also use it looking at the screen to control the devices so many uses so let's write them down okay we can use it in the area of gaming we can use it in immersive learning immersive learning you can use it looking at a screen to control devices okay you can use it also to point a device point device at a building or object so and so on and so forth any two points here will end you the two marks don't forget augmented reality is used to you know enhance the real the reality the actual reality that's why we call it augmented reality so then the next one is question 6b describe the differences between augmented reality and virtual reality augmented reality and virtual reality so now for the keywords here are sorry the keywords here are actually augmented reality ar and virtual reality vr and you are looking at the differences between them this is a two mark question so you be careful as you write this so the first thing to take note is that for augmented reality it uses a reward setting whereas virtual reality only enhances a fictional reality take note of that and another thing is that ar can be accessed with a smartphone whereas vr usually requires a headset 
so that's the, that's major differences so let me put that put it down so that you understand ar which is augmented reality uses a real world setting whereas um vr only enhances a fictional reality okay another thing is that ar can be assessed with a smartphone whereas um vr usually requires a headset device take note of that then ar enhances both the virtual and real world whereas vr is completely completely computer generated environment generated world or virtual world okay computer generated environment or virtual world take note of that so these are the key differences between vr and ar so take note of that then i'm um, going to question seven is take note of this an expert system is used to help to locate an underground water source an expert system you know what's an expert system expert system is a system that mimic you know a professional in a particular field so then describe this is a keyword there the following component of an expert system expert system has different component now i like to call that um when i want to talk about expert system component i like to call that one eq what i meant is this just for uh easy remember e then k i r u so e we have explanation we have knowledge base we have um, inference we have rules we have user interface so please take note of that but the basic ones we have the knowledge base the uh in, i mean the inference engine the rule base and user interface please take note of that so with this we can easily explain uh the component of an expert system so let's go to the user interface very quickly the user interface as the name suggests it displays the questions for the user to answer so it's a link between the user and the expert system don't forget the expert system works like a professional in a particular field so the user interface is the link between the user uh, between the user and the expert system so you say that the user interface is the system that displays questions for the user to answer or to respond to also the user inputs the answer with uh, the user interface usually with yes or no type of answer so take note of that then user interface interface displays the results to the user too so it displays the question to the user for the for the user to enter input and also display the result to the user so that's very important then the next one is the knowledge base so any two points here is fine then the knowledge base as the name suggests it is the collection of facts and rules about that uh, specific field and it is usually then it is 
usually created from information provided by experts of course different experts are going to make contributions into the uh, expert system so take note of that then explain how an expert system is used to discover locations to drill for water explain so the key word here is explain how the expert system is used to discover locations to drill for water so then in this case don't forget a scenario was given here saying that an expert system is used to help to locate an underground water source so it's like exploration okay so how will the uh, expert system will be used to discover locations to drill water so i'm going to give some points here so uh let's let's start the user interface asks questions just like we talked about the component so the user interface of the expert system asks questions from the users the user respond the user answers the questions with yes or no answers then the expert system ask further question based on the answer supplied supply then um, the in inference engine on the other hand will set the knowledge base using the rules then probabilities will be given of the likelihood after the probability of the likelihood then an exploration an explanation system explains how the expert system arrive at the given answers or solution then results are displayed on the user interface so take note so it's like everything starts from the user interface and ends with the user interface you can see that so because if the user wants to interact with the expert system starts from the user interface to ask question and when the results will be displayed also will be given to the user it will be displayed on the user interface so that is quite simple then i uh, will be going to the next question so the next question which is question eight will be treated in the next video please stay tuned subscribe to my youtube channel like this video drop your question as uh, our contribution as comment and share this uh, video link with other people so see you in the next video bye for now